Uh, I'm late. It's 5.40. First lights in 14 minutes, or 16 minutes. Today's Wednesday, September 25th, and we just got back from Jeff's moose hunt. What a great experience. I don't know if you guys have watched it already or if we're waiting to upload it till a little later. I don't really know. So maybe you guys have seen it already, maybe not. So I'm not gonna launch any spoilers. Launch any spoilers? I'm not gonna give any spoilers. Oh man, I am tired. Let's just put it this way. It was a good time. We had a lot of fun. That's all I'm gonna say about it for right now. I'm heading into the woods to my expanded archery spot. I got all my gear, I think. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But I need to stop talking and I need to start going because I'm already late. I don't think I'm going to make first light, so I'm just going to have to really take my time walking in and uh, hopefully not jump anything. And Okay, this is getting awkward. So, see you guys down there. Bye. I can see his breath yeah. I can't believe that just happened. I got it! It's the last day of rifle season, and I just got one. 627. I took my time walking in. I did the one thing you should never do before you get in your tree stand. I checked my trail cameras. I got another hunter again. Looks like the same guy. I got a fawn, and that's it. Nothing else. That's always exhilarating. So the plan for today is my morning sit. I'm gonna hop in this stand. I've got a north-northwest wind blowing in my face. What the heck was that? Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the plan for today is for my morning sit. I'll be in this stand with a north-northwest wind blowing in my face. And if I don't see anything today, or this morning in this stand, I'm most likely going to grab a chair and just work my way up these woods a little bit and see if they're being pressured into a little corner off of the four-wheeler trail. I haven't checked that area since last winter, so I don't really know what the sign looks like. But if I go check it out today and it's good enough, I'll probably be moving a stand set over there. Because I'm going to be completely honest with you, I do not love this spot right here. I'm still not completely ready. I still have to get stuff out of my bag, got to get my GoPro set up. Fun fact, when you're bringing your camera arm for your tree stand, don't forget your ratchet strap. I forgot mine. So hopefully my safety harness, I have an extra one of these right here. Hopefully that can hold, because that's what it's held on with right now. That's why you guys are a little bouncy. See that? Just a little bit. Well guys, as you can tell, I'm in a different spot. The morning sit didn't go great. Nothing. So I decided to climb out of the stand around 8 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere in there. And I just walked the woods looking for fresh sign. And I came across this clearing. It's right in the middle of the woods, surrounded by thick woods. And I found a couple oak trees that were dropping some acorns. And the ground was just tore up with deer tracks and split acorns. And, and here I am. And no sooner did I set up and get sat down, a bunch of, I would say, cross-country high school kids came running right through here can't get away from it. And one of them came within 10 yards of me and he didn't even see me. I just stayed dead still. The mosquitoes are a little bit worse in here. They're all over me. Driving me nuts. I like this spot. My wind's good right now where I'm set up. The oak tree's about 28 yards from where I'm sitting. I don't have a lot of shooting lanes. So hopefully if a deer does come through here, it decides to take that main path right there, right to that oak. We'll see. Wish me luck. Not a whole lot to update you on yet. I haven't seen anything. This is definitely a hard start to the expanded archery season for me. Given I haven't been able to get in here very often, 
but I haven't seen anything. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a update on my not very exciting set this evening. I've got a lot of mosquitoes around me. That's where we're at. What is going on? I'm back. I'm really doing it. Took a couple days off. It's actually the, still the same week as my moose hunt that you guys just got done watching. It is now Friday of that week, but now we're shifting back to whitetails. It's early. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. It's warm today, and I'm just going to take my time getting into a stand. Got a camera to check. It's probably going to be dead, but that's going to give me a good idea, hopefully, as to what's been moving in kind of times of day. I'm assuming it's still all nocturnal, but the spot I'm going to, I don't have any trail cameras on, so no expectations, and uh, so I'll be sitting there with high hopes. So that's kind of cool. I'm not knowing what's going on. I'm not going to be sitting there going, oh, everything's coming in at night. No, should be sitting there uh, in pretty good spirits. I'm still trying to save my best spots for the perfect wind and the perfect days and trying not to overhunt them. So I'm still trying to hunt the perimeters right now, which is what I'm going to do tonight. But yeah, going to get walking in. Like I said, take my time, grab the camera, check it, go from there. All right, I just got to the entrance into the ground blind where my first camera is. I'm gonna leave everything here, leave you guys here. I'm just gonna grab a trail camera uh, in case this one's dead, run in there, swap it out, and I'm gonna come back here and we'll take a look at it and see what we get. Camera was dead, so I'm glad I uh, brought another camera with me to replace it. We're gonna look to see if we can see anything on here. Not good. Can't really see the dark pictures that well, but it doesn't look promising, so. We're gonna move on. Okay, we are all set up. The wind isn't doing exactly what I was hoping it would. I should be getting a northwest, which should be hitting me right here, blowing back down into this kind of creek system behind me. But it's more west, and it's even got a little bit of south in it, which is blowing back down to this corner of the food plot and down into that side of the river system which I don't love. I can't shoot down into there regardless. So that kind of just is what it is, but I probably should have sat either the pop-up ground blind or the ladder stand overlooking the clover. But since I've already walked through the clover system, there was some good deer trails that went out to the clover from this side and I had to walk through that way. So um, instead of walking back that way, and putting even more scent on the ground. I just said I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the night. It's about 2.30, I have till 6.30. This tree is uh, small. <laughs> Look at how uh, it's not very big at all. In my camera arm, I had to go around the tree and around my climbing sticks in order for it to be wide enough so that I could actually ratchet it without hitting the, the bracket itself. So super, super jerry-rigged, but I only got to sit, sit back here in this food plot one time last year, so I'm excited to uh, see if anything potentially comes out. I got no idea what's going on. I did bring a trail camera to put out when I leave. That way I don't put it out now and potentially have it scare deer, so I'll put that out when I leave. But yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna sit, reminisce about moose hunting and uh, start tr strategically putting the deer season, the deer season together in my brain, so. Wish me luck. Well, I figured I'd update you guys. Uh, well, I figured I'd update you and end the video while I had a chance to. You saw it. I saw nothing getting right on par from where we left off that's for sure but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna get on some deer it's just a matter of time so uh yeah hang in there we're getting on them eventually
Well, we did it. <laughs> I've been fighting my cough all night. We did it. We saw a deer on the food plot. That in itself was super rewarding. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know, as of right now, I don't know what it was. My gut tells me fawn of some sort, either a doe fawn or a button buck, but I don't really know. Nice night, regardless, cooled off really good. You can tell there's gonna be a little bit of frost going on tonight and into tomorrow. So yeah, that uh, felt good to see that deer. It was late, didn't get great footage of it because it was so late and so dark. Couldn't even really see it through my binoculars that well, but tomorrow, gonna go back after him. Do another little evening sit. Winds got a weird self direction tomorrow. Got some figuring out to do. Try to figure out where I'm gonna sit, but pretty cool night guys, pretty happy. See you uh, in a tree tomorrow. Well, today is October 2nd. I don't have my watch on. That's gonna feel real weird out in the woods. No, today is October 1st. My apologies. And it's probably right around three o'clock, I'm assuming. It's kind of overcast, like misty, a little hazy. I'm gonna go friggin' hunting. Will you guys check out this decal? Look at that. That looks pretty good, huh? We are gonna go down to my hunting spot on the public land, see what we can get riled up. Stuff stinks. Hey guys. <clears throat> hey guys. No. Hey, I'm in the stand. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good today. I got my lucky boxers on. It's a nice cool evening. We're supposed to get down in the high 40s tonight, which I know isn't great, but it's better than what we've had. Yeah, so for right now, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna look around, see if uh, maybe something wants to walk by tonight. Can you guys see the leaves falling behind me? It's, it's gorgeous. It's a great day today. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna sit here and just Hope for the best. Well, it's just after five o'clock. It's like 5.15, 5.16, somewhere in there. Nothing yet. My wind keeps switching. It keeps kicking this way and then it kicks this way. But as long as it doesn't go that way or that way, I'm good. Not much has happened since the last time we talked, but we're just coming into prime time right now. Prime time. I just wanted to make sure I turned the camera on, talk to you guys for a minute, let you know that nothing's happened. I filmed some leaves, I think a branch or two. I thought I saw an owl, but it's just a clump of leaves. Oh, I had a tick on me, a deer tick, first one of the season for me. I have just over an hour left of light. It's a pretty cloudy day, so I don't know. Last, Jesus. did you guys hear that? My heart stopped. Branch just fell out of the tree. Whew. That's a little update for right now. That stick, seriously, jumped. Jump the, jump the beans right out of me. It's about seven o'clock right now. One minute till. It got dark in there quick, real quick. But we didn't see anything tonight, so we'll try again on the next sit. I moved my trail camera down there. I didn't have anything on the camera, so I moved it to a different spot that I kind of scoped out while I was up in the stand. Well, it looks like a little bit of a beaten path, but it very well could be another hunter. I don't know. The only pictures I have on my trail camera right now are of another hunter. We'll see what happens, but thank you guys for sticking in there with us. We really appreciate you, and we'll see you on the next one.